Manjaro shortage, we're going to talk about six tips to help you with the Manjaro shortage. Yes, my friends, the Manjaro shortage is real. If you're depending on the dose that you're on for Manjaro, I'm on Manjaro 15 milligrams and struggled this week to get my prescription filled. And I want to give you some of the tools and techniques that have worked really, really well for me as I've gone through um, sorting this out of how do I get my prescription? Okay, six tips. Tip number one, Mr. Freddy is here with me too, my co-host as well. Tip number one is I typically from my pharmacy get a text once my prescription, I work with the telehealth company. I will link it down in the description link below. I have a discount code as well if you choose to work with them. I've always worked, uh, the first month I worked with my primary care doctor, the first two months, and then switched um, for the past, gosh, almost 10 months now to telehealth. And it's been a game changer. Telehealth typically have a monthly payment associated with them, but the telehealth company I've worked for, if you choose to go the compound route, actually has the lowest price compound with the highest quality, in my humble opinion, because they do third-party testing. But where I get my, once the telehealth company sends my prescription to my local pharmacy, because I do name brand, they do name brand and compounds, by the way, I get a text. And I did not get a text this past time for my prescription. And that should have been a red flag for me. As red as my face is right now, here's one. I just got some face work done. As red as my face is right now, that should have been a red flag for me. The, the pharmacy didn't have it. I just assumed erroneously because it got sent in, it was going to be there. And that was, that was a rookie mistake. So mistake number one, if you usually opt to get text service from your pharmacy and you don't get it, to immediately go to step two, call. Good old fashioned 1997 call them, they want their phone back. Go ahead and call them and call your pharmacy to check on your prescription and check on what dose they have. Do they have the particular dose you're looking for? Got out of the pharmacy, they don't have it. I need to go over to this other location, which is far away. It's on the borderline of where I live to another state. It's going to snow tonight and it's during holiday traffic season and go try to get this prescription. It is the last one in the area, the last one. This is nuts. I'm like, I wanna cry, but I'm not going to. Let's go, let's, fingers crossed I can go. Can I get it? Like, I'm worried I'm gonna drive all the way there and then have to drive all the way back and not be able to get this prescription. I'm slightly, like my stomach hurts. My stomach hurts. <laughs> Bag is secured. I repeat, the bag is secured. Bag is secured. I got my Manjaro. That was so stressful. I stopped at Bojangles to get a um, diet Pepsi. Here's my tips. A couple of things. I was so kind intentionally. Like I'm, all, I always try to be kind, right? Like just being kind and being a good person. But intentionally went out of my way to be super kind to all of the pharmacists and pharmacy people that I talked to. Not getting sassy. Not getting attitudey. I did ask the other pharmacy when I called and you said that it was ready. Why did you say that? And so I found it interesting. She said that there could have been um, people ahead of me and they also could have gotten essentially screwed too. So for me, I have to wait to get the text message confirmation. That means everything. That means I have the prescription. It confirms the amount. It says that they have it ready. If I don't have that text message, then that basically means that they don't have my prescription. So that's one of my tips for you is whatever your system is with your pharmacy, find out, ask. For me, I knew I got text messages, but I should have confirmed. This literally has taken, gosh, by the time I get home, it will be three hours. I don't have three hours. Like I want to cry. I have so much on my plate right now with some personal things going on that are beyond my control that I need to tend to as opposed to like driving all around. But on the other side, I am so grateful because this was the last prescription in my area in a like 10 mile radius or something. I got the last one, um, the last Manjaro 15 milligram. Tip that I have for you, the second tip was the pharmacist in which I dealt with, the first one, knew me because I'd been going there for months and I was like super kind. I always gave her, when they give you those little things where you can do reviews, I always reviewed her and gave her the highest star rating, said how amazing she was. And then I always told her, hey, just so you know, 
when corporate asked me how my visit was, I always gave, it was me who was giving you those five star reviews. So I'm sure you got a bunch of them, but some of them were from me, just so you know. So she knew me and went out of her way to call around for me to try to get my prescription to um, with the Manjaro shortage going on. With tip two, calling for the Manjaro shortage with the pharmacist to see, do they have the Manjaro 15 milligrams? If they didn't, do they have within there, because it's a major chain, can they call some of the other pharmacies in the area? <coughs> do they have them or should I call them? Finding that information out simply by calling, you're not going to find it online. If somebody does have a resource, by the way, uh, during COVID, this was the other big thing. To, it was very similar as well. Of like, where's in the pharmacy has the certain things um, for shortages? I don't, to my knowledge, know that there's like an up-to-date system other than calling, which is crazy, by the way. Like, how are we in this day and age of where I can get my groceries delivered? I can get all of these instantaneous things, but I can't figure out where the supply chain, like if something sells out. Um, I mean, it kind of does make sense though, because it's a prescription. So that does kind of make sense to me. But then also, I don't know if one of y'all know, tell me in the comments. I, by the way, I read all of your comments. I may not respond to all of them. Make sure you stay till the end because I've got a special surprise for you. But I read all the comments. I may just not reply to all of them. But I would love to know if, if you have a solution, if there's some sort of something that I'm missing that would help with that. Tip number three that dramatically helped me with a Manjaro shortage because... I did end up getting my prescription. I did end up getting my prescription. It just took me driving all around during the holiday season with the hustle and bustle at a major um, shopping place. Um, it took having a relationship with the pharmacist, actually two of the pharmacists, to be able to, um, it took that relationship with the pharmacist to be able to get the medication. And so I had the pharmacist at my local pharmacy and they called um, a, a little ways away. It was literally on the borderline of my state <laughs> to another state. It's like right on that borderline. And I happened to know the other pharmacist because she switched from my main store. So they were so helpful. And you know why? They remembered me. They remembered me because I was really nice to them and they were really nice to me. And so they were out of their way for me, I think because I was really nice. And so that's my encouragement to be a good human being, which I know all of you are. If you're in the Countess of Shopping community, you're already a good human being but be extra kind to the people working in the pharmacy, not because we want anything. We're nice to be nice, not to like take something, but being nice did pay off in this situation because they're like, oh yeah, I remember you, you're really kind and da 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 da, -da. Um, And that was very helpful. I, I got the last prescription. The train was leaving the station and I got that last prescription. That's my tip number three for you. Make sure that you are being kind and perhaps that may pay off for you in the future. If you're calling different places, do pleases, do thank yous. And I know I'm preaching to the choir here, but sometimes for myself, I get stressed and I can be a little bit shorter than I, like in hindsight, like when I'm reflecting my day at the end of the night and I'm doing an inventory of my day, I'm like, oh man, I could have, I could have been nicer in that situation. I was just stressed because I didn't know if it was going to be my prescription and being exceptionally kind, I think have paid off for me really, really well in this situation. Tip number four, and that's also within your control too, right? Like we can control that of the energy that we're putting out. Tip number four, to help with the Manjaro shortage, where you're specifically getting your um, prescription, your Manjaro injection from. In my area, Costco never has it. I love Costco. I love Costco. Costco's my homeboy. I love Costco, but Costco never has flipping Manjaro. They, they never have it. I called in for months and months to see if they have it. Cause I would love, uh, I would love to go to Costco. I would love it, but they never have it. So, um, and, and whereas some of you countesses and counts out there are like, Oh my God, Costco always has my prescription. It's the only place in my area that does fill the prescription. So it's kind of interesting to see who has what with the prescription. Um, next tip, what was that number four? Maybe that was number four. Number it was it was basically if they're busy or not. If it's a really busy place, that is going to sell out in my experience more than a non-busy place. So that's the tip for me. I live in rural Virginia, and so intentionally going to areas that may not be as popular for people to go who'd be purchasing this medication or to be on this medication. And so something to think about in terms of like demographics. And so for me, I intentionally kind of go out of my way to get my prescription because I know certain people in that neighborhood, probably at their local pharmacy are not patroning in. And it's failed out very well for me because they almost always have my medication except this time. 
because the Manjaro shortage is real. It is real. It is real. It is real. Um, tip number, so that was tip number, um, tip number six is going to be maybe you just don't have it in your area with the Manjaro shortage. Some people just don't. Um, going to a terazepatide or going to a compound. Maybe that's the answer for you. Um, that <coughs> I have always poo pooed previously. We're having bath time. Oh, I hope he doesn't. Oh my goodness. We're just gonna block out him, um, cleaning himself there. Um, which I had poo pooed previously compounds and compounds are amazing. If you have a reputable compound pharmacy, which I do telehealth company that I work with. I love them. It's the one I personally use. It's a startup company. I love, I love the whole vibe of it. It's been amazing. They do name brand with so Manjaro prescriptions, Zetbound. Um, they have uh, Wegovy, Ozempic, all of that name brands. And they do insurance concierge to help you with your insurance. If that does not work on that pipeline, then over here they do um, compounds, with, working with compound pharmacies, they have access to really great compound pharmacies that are third party tested to ensure the highest quality, but their prices are exceptional. And with my um, discount code, it's even more on point. So for telehealth, you do pay monthly fees. And in my free encouragement group that recently came up, people are like, I don't want to pay the monthly fee. I'm like, but that is for telehealth. For telehealth, you're going to pay the monthly fee with that. That just is. Um, and for me personally, I rather pay that than deal with my, my doctor. My primary care doctor is dealing with flu, flu and colds and barfy sicknesses. They do not have time to devote for me to do what Ozempic, Manjaro, Wegovy, um, Zepbound, they just don't. And so working with a telehealth company for me, well worth the monthly fee on that. And you get the discount the first month, well worth that fee. And that's standard with any telehealth company. And I've tested a bunch of them. I've worked with several of them to test and see, you know, what works well, what I like, what's the ease of it. Are they just giving out prescriptions without having like blood work with it? And that's one of the things that I really loved about working with the telehealth company that I work with is that they made me get blood work done. And I appreciate the, um, what's the word? The, I was gonna say efficacy, but that's not the right word. The, the integrity of that, of like, they want to make sure that like, my blood stuff is all good too. And, um, that really spoke volumes to me, spoke volumes to me. So hopefully those tips help. Um, for me, definitely. And now I have my prescription and the other, this is the bonus tip, tip number seven is getting your prescription saying when you can refill it. I know some of you can refill it only on the 28th day. Some of you on the 30th day, some of you for me on the 21st day, for some of you, it's when out, like you can do three month doses. Like Everybody's different on that, but know your rules with your insurance company, with your pharmacy, whatever, making sure that you know those rules of when you can get your next prescription, super, super important. Um, for me, I just do it every 21 days because I want to make sure because of the Manjaro shortage, I have a few extra pens. Um, I've got something major in my life happening here in the next couple of days, major, major, major. It's not with me, but it directly does affect me. And so getting ahead on my prescription, super important because I'm not going to be able to leave my house for a little while, um, to help one of my family members and having that assurance that like one more thing on my to-do list that's checked off that I don't have to worry about, which is helpful. <laughs> if you are new to the council shopping community, we do a little thing here with emojis. It helps me to get to know you better because I care about the thousands and thousands of county countesses in our community. Today's emoji, if you write it down in the comments below, I will pray over you and send you positive energy. Um, it's going to be a tree. <laughs> so any sort of tree emoji. And if you don't have an emoji, some people are like, I'm on the computer. You can type in tree and I will know I see you. I will pause. I will reflect and I will um, take some time to pray over you and send you positive energy. I do also want to recommend a ton of resources for you. I have a blog, countessofshopping.com and it's forward slash blog, or you can just go to countessofshopping.com and, um, all of the articles are there. We have over 50 or I have over 50 articles there to be of maximum service for you for free of things that have worked well for me, meal plans, um, doshas, charts, a ton of stuff. I'm not a medical person. Um, nor do I pretend to play a healthcare provider on the internet. I punt that to the experts. This is simply my experience, strength, and hope of what's worked well for me within that blog or here on YouTube. Make sure you click that subscribe button so you can see future videos and past videos. I have already a hundred videos this past year in 2020. 
three, um, moving into 2024, of, of over 100 videos on Manjaro weight loss, losing 73 pounds. So totally my encouragement to you is go use those free resources, whether you like to consume information auditorially or through a video, or if you want to read it through the blog and join my free Manjaro weight loss uh, encouragement group. All are welcome at that table if you're on set bound, semaglutide, uh, excuse me, semaglutide weight loss, terzepatide weight loss, terzepatide weight loss, um, Zetbound, Manjaro, all of it. I mean, the other GLP ones that come out in the interim as well. Um, but it's really an encouraging, amazing, fantastic group. And so I use it just as much as a safe space as anyone, <laughs> because it is a safe space and it's, it, it's awesome. It's a free resource. My gift to the Countess of Shopping community, because iron sharpens iron, right? And this has helped me so much that I want to give back to and being able to help other people, hopefully, hopefully with my experience, strength and hope. So take it or leave it. Um, my sweet friends, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. I'm Countess of Shopping. Count my blessings because life is delicious. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to watch those other videos.